Well, hello again from Kingston. It's uh, rather cold this week with a surprisingly bitter wind. But it doesn't mean the work has stopped by any means. There's a lot to report. Follow on into the update and you'll see for yourself. Thanks again for watching. It's greatly appreciated. The highlight this week was undoubtedly on the east end and the steel structure, but we'll start on the west end, where connections to the drainage system from the bridge were noted during the week. Construction of the north side sidewall continued during the week. Here on spans 7 and 8. Work was also performed on the base that will support the railing on the south side. Mounting points for the rail can be seen here and here. Preparation of the wall that will separate traffic from the multi-use pathway seem well advanced, but there's no sign of concrete yet. Although the concrete deck is now approaching span 10, it's worth noting that the expansion joint between spans 6 and 7 has yet to be placed. Overall, the situation in the west looks really good, and in this shot with the causeway out of sight, you get a good idea of how the bridge will appear in the future. A busy week on the east end began with the departure of one of the machines that has made the biggest contribution to the installation of utilities, the Caterpillar Excavator. Moving a load like this demands careful preparation, including confirmation of clearance and a double check that the load is absolutely secure. As a wide load, it requires flags and warning signs front and rear. But eventually, it's time to go. With a quick turnaround, minus its placards, the transporter was back to remove forms used in the retaining wall last week. A lot of work has been taking place to complete the margins of the intersection of Gore Road and Highway 15. And we saw this little bobcat grader at work for the first time. Capable of operating in a small area, it would come in very handy. Monday was notable too for the start of work prepare a sidewalk beside the dry stone wall at the library. But the week's highlight would occur on Tuesday, when a steady stream of concrete trucks delivered product to a pumper that would service the Gomaco machine on top of the steel. Cold and windy conditions, despite the sunshine, made the presence of the red insulating blanket essential. The insulating blanket would be rolled back as the machine advanced and then, as it moved on, replaced with the addition of heating. The heating is essential because beneath the bridge there is nothing to resist the cold. This first run on the steel was a great success. But conditions for the rest of the week made another run impossible. But none of the work on the steel structure 
or elsewhere would be possible without the dedicated workers from ABF Reinforcing Steel, who literally lay the foundations of success. There was the promise of a different concrete on Wednesday morning, when ice first appeared on the river, and the team from Sousa Ready Mix prepared new forms to lay concrete beside the sidewalk on Gore Road. The team would return on Friday to pour some of that concrete. As is always the case, there's a significant amount of hand finishing involved. And samples are always taken for independent testing of consistency and composition. Friday provided the opportunity too to see how much can be achieved in a short period. The first images were from Wednesday and this is the situation on Friday. Whenever you think things are drawing to a close, there's always a surprise. And work began on Thursday to create two new traffic islands on Highway 15. As we head for the wildlife, with a last look at the steel structure, I want to mention somebody special, and that's Rosa from Eagle Eye Professional Cleaning Services. She and her colleagues visit the site at least twice a day to conduct precautions against COVID transmission, and they've never had a mention. Despite waving and smiling every day, this one's for you, and thank you. Now, some wildlife. Well, there you have it. Another week in Kingston on the third crossing. And next week, we'll be into December. Hardly seems possible. Bye for now.